Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you the auto snipe AI best settings. Let's begin. What I would recommend is that you put this on where it says instant buy. This shows you all the tokens which you can instantly buy quickly within a few minutes. So I would recommend that you switch this on if time is a top priority for you. And there are other options that you can use. If you go to this right side of the screen here, you can select the filters area and then you have the mint auth disabled. So the mint auth disabled filters, it filters tokens where minting authorization is disabled. I would recommend that you leave this on as you avoid tokens that can be arbitrarily minted. And the second one is LP burned. This filters tokens with their liquidity pool burned. And it is recommended that you leave this on as it enhances safety. Then the top 10 holders filters tokens with the distribution among the top 10 holders. I recommend that you leave this off. I mean, it's optional depending on your risk tolerance. And then with at least one social filters tokens with at least one linked social media, it is recommended to leave this on as it helps verify legitimacy and authenticity. Then freeze auth disabled. Filters tokens where freezing functionality is disabled. I would recommend that you leave this on as it avoids tokens that can be frozen maliciously. And then hide rugs. Hides tokens flagged as scams or rug pulls. I would highly recommend that you leave this on as it reduces scam exposure. Then here, show only tokens migrated from pump.fun. Show tokens migrated from a specific source. I would recommend that you leave this off specific to pump fun users. Show tokens migrated from Moonshoot and it is recommended that you leave this off and it's only specific to Moonshoot users. Show only tokens not migrated as it filters tokens that haven't been migrated. It is recommended to leave this off as it is only optional unless you actually need it. Then the rest of the buttons here, you can adjust based on your trading strategy here. So you can choose your own volume, your market cap, your transactions, buy, sells, and then current liquidity. And there you go. I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.